Hi guys. It is the 25th of June and this is the 25th of 90 Facebook Lives that I'm doing. My name is Alan Thomas and you're on Transform My Futures page or possibly in one of the groups that I publish this in. But um, I am a uh, little history on me. I, I have Rethink Dieting, which is part of Transform My Future. And my story is that in 2017, I looked down on the scale and saw um, 304 pounds staring back at me. And I know a lot of you've heard this over and over, but there's, there's part of the story that, uh, that a lot of people don't realize, even though I do talk about it some, is the fact that when I looked down at the scale, I was 55 years old and I, hadn't, I had not run across a man that was over 65, and morbidly obese, like I was, 5'11", 304 pounds, that's, that, that was a big boy. And, and I spent years and years and years of yo-yo dieting and all these different things and, and nothing had ever worked. And you know, so much of what I was doing, what was, was just really putting off doing the inevitable, doing what was really hard, just surrendering to the fact that I had to get something done with my weight. And what got me thinking about this was, uh, it's been a super busy day and um, I like shooting these Facebook lives outside. It's just, it's comfortable out here and, and uh, on Amelia Island, not too hot, kind of breezy, but the day's getting late and it got me thinking about the how late it's getting when you're morbidly obese, especially for a man, you don't really know how late it is. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, it, when most people think about losing weight, I know when I did, it was about getting into, you know, a smaller, uh, you know, smaller size, being able to not being embarrassed when you go on get on an airplane, you know, they're not, you know, not having to get a first class seat or get one of those seat belt extenders or, you know, get somebody to help you, you know, at a ride in a theme park with your kids or all those things. All those things are important and there, there's a lot of shame involved in it for morbidly obese men. And, but really, you know, what's the, what's the real question that you need to be asking is what time is it? You know, what time is it in your life? Do you really know when you don't have another day that you can wait to get your, to get your weight off? I mean, when does that happen? And that's one that we don't know. You know, I didn't know. I mean, gosh, I, I believe I probably would have been dead by now if I hadn't have taken off 129 pounds in 260 days. You know, I don't know. I didn't have any medical issues. Lots of people, you know, die from uh, obesity, um, deaths that result from obesity, like heart disease and, you know, all sorts of things. You know, I, I'm not a medical professional, but you can just look up. I mean, there's, there's just, it's, a, I think it's 300,000 people a year die from some sort of obesity related death and probably more than that. And I wonder if those people were planning on getting their weight off. I wonder if they were, they were planning to, to go on a diet, get the weight off and, and do that. And maybe they would try something that they could, you know, fit their ice cream in or this kind of thing. And, and I don't talk a lot about, you know, what you eat on a diet and those kind of things, because I don't think that's really the issue. You know, I get that question a lot and is, you know, you know why does, why do, do you think that the diet doesn't matter? Well, of course it matters. I, you know, I talked about this a little bit last night. Of course the diet matters. Of course your exercise matter. But really, if that were the problem, this, this whole issue of obesity in our country, worldwide really, would be completely solved. Because there, there's a thousand diets out there that work. But the real issue is sticking to it. The real issue is rethinking it. Rethinking it and reframing the way you look at obesity and, and really finding a, finding a strategy that will work to get your weight off. And so, you know, when I, when I work with men, everybody's different. You know, it's, it, I, don't, I don't have magic pills, but, but it's, it's interesting when, when an individual takes a different approach and approaches this from a way that they maybe have never done it before they get results. 
and it's it's I don't want to call it magical, but it that's what I found. I, I mean, I walking through obesity to an ideal weight was life changing for me. It it was something I'd put off and put off and put off until I looked at that skill and I knew the clock was ticking. I knew that it was getting late. I didn't know how late. You know, maybe maybe I wouldn't wake up one morning. Maybe my, you know, because I, I died of a heart attack, maybe, you know, sleep apnea would kill me because, you know, you stop breathing, you know, and sleep apnea, maybe that would kill me. All these things, and, and again, I don't say this to be morbid, I just say it because it's so easy to put it off. I'll do this tomorrow. I'll take care of this next week. We've got a birthday party coming up. I'll take care of it after the party. Well, maybe you won't make it to the party. I don't know. Maybe I wouldn't have. I have no idea. But but I I don't think anybody knows on this earth knows the time and place that they, that where their point in time is. But I think we do have a say so sometimes. We we've been given free will. You get to make a decision of how many times to put that fork in your mouth. You get a decision on all those things. You, we normalize this thing called obesity and say, it's okay, I'll wait for later. Well, it might be 11.59 p.m. It might be getting dark in your life. It may be, the sun may be setting and you not know it. And so I, I would say this to every one of you, you know, isn't it time that you rethought this whole process you know, maybe the answer isn't another diet. Maybe the answer isn't joining a gym. That might be part of the answer. Maybe the answer is rethinking this. So I hope that makes sense to you, but as it gets late here on Amelia Island and the sun's going down, I wonder, I, I wonder what would happen if you took action today. But if you don't know what to do, if you're stuck, if you're stuck and you're sick and tired of trying things that haven't worked for you in the past, maybe, maybe, you know, you don't know what to do. Maybe it's, it's just, a you've thrown your arms up and you say, I can't get it done. I mean, I know how that feels. I mean, at 304 pounds at 511, I, I felt that way lots of times, but I, here's what I want to encourage you with is it is possible. It is possible to get it done. Is it easy? No, not, no. But is it simple? Yes. And so if you want to have an honest conversation, go to the link that's in this video, transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply. You schedule a breakthrough call with me and see, you know, maybe Rethink Dining is, is for you. Maybe it's a program that'll work. I love getting the calls from from you know individuals that I work with where they're having success and seeing the scales go down and and they're they're finding that these strategies that you know appear to be kind of counterintuitive actually work you know I, I'm not a doctor I'm not a nutritionist I'm not a dietitian I'm not a physical fitness expert I say it all the time I'm just a guy that made it through the the wilderness of obesity and and that's what where my passion is I want to help men, especially men who struggle with this. That's that's really where my heart is, to help those men rethink this whole process and go out and live the life that they were destined to live. Because really, you know, one of, one of the men in my program, uh, he said, he said, you know, we're really, he said, by, by changing the way he's looked at the process, he's now, instead of sitting at the table all the time, he's now dining on destiny which I thought was pretty cool to say. And so anyway, I wish I'd have thought of that. He's, he's a really smart guy. He's doing some amazing things. And he's gotten that, that beast from around his neck of obesity, and he's been released from the prison of obesity. So uh, go to transformmyfuture.com forward slash apply, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. Sun's setting here on Amelia Island. Beautiful night, though. Just rained. And uh, have a great evening.